Slide. I ain't come for no play play. My name's Lee Boy. And my name is Fuzz. You know what? I'm starting to think this is not going to last too long between us. Now, today I want to talk about something that irritates me. The black agenda. What black agenda? <laughs> oh, black agenda. And what you say, Fuzz? Don't make me skip straight to the beat down. <laughs> and you know tensions are high right now. I'm sorry, Lee boy. I didn't mean to offend you. You know what, Fuzz? I'm, I'm just mad because you're right. Let me calm all the way down. But I'm also mad at the spur of the moment social media movements. Now, I thought we were supposed to be blacking out on Tuesday, but when I came back, everybody was still posting, and we missed a lot of headlines that should have got some more attention, you know what I mean? Now, did somebody send out a memo? Did I miss it? I think they just used the wrong word. What they were literally trying to say is all black everything. That's all, it, it's like a dress code. Yes. But when you use the word blackout, you think, okay, so I'm supposed to be silent? What do you mean, put a pause on things? They didn't think it out all the way through. Mm -hmm. Well, since it's that term, it's that word. People were you say that. blackout, you think like media blackout. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, it was poorly worded. Um, again, attention intention is is great, and I try to judge people on their intentions. But execution when you execution matters in this, I say what I said. Intention is great, but execution matters more. Execution matters one. more. I it's understand great. your frustration, Lee Boy, but no one's forcing you to participate. Why can't you just be more positive? Yeah! For guys like me, there's positive, there's negative, and there's negative. That's the mind frame that forces me to see the world through a lens of black skepticism. Don't make me go back there, Fuzz. Now, one thing I am positive about is black people need more than an Instagram campaign to make a real difference for our people. Right now, the number one thing on our agenda needs to be federal laws to police the police. We want federal legislation calling for police for, for brutality on a part of some police officers against unarmed black men to be designated as a federal hate crime. We want these kind of things. We don't want lip service. We don't want you to hug us. We don't want to lock arms with you and sing kumbaya with one another. Everybody acting like tomorrow is going to be a greater day just because we feel a little bit better. We want action. And so what happens is, is that when you see something like this transpire, it lends itself towards illuminating and crystallizing the need for action. Hate crime what? distinction, body cam laws, police and citizens, violence intervention, you name it, we need it. That's the spirit, Lee Boy. Way to speak your mind. Now, we just need to put pressure on politicians and V-O-T-E. Food! Yay! Food! That's right, Fuzz, but the black agenda can't just stop with police reform. We also need systemic changes to education and financial institutions, along with reparations. Reparations? What are those? Reparations are the making of amends for wrong being done by paying money like those being paid to the Jewish community for the Holocaust or to a Native American Indians for being robbed of America or in 1892 for the lynching of Italian Americans. Yeah, you heard me correctly. They skipped right over us, but our day's coming. Now is the time to go big. Short answers to long, horrific questions about the stain of slavery are not going to solve the inequality problem. And to do that, we must bring, bring the descendants of slaves into equality with this nation. And that's what I proposed in this $14 trillion uh, proposal to provide reparations, not only for the sin or the atonement of the sin of slavery and Jim Crowism and and desegregation, both de facto and de jure, but to cause America to live up to the concept and the notion that this nation was born on the idea of American exceptionalism. Wealth transfer is exactly what's needed. Think about this. For 200 plus years or so of slavery, labor taken with no compensation is a wealth transfer. Great, Lee Boy. Sounds like you got the whole black 
Kachinda figured out. So, what's next? Well, I'm going to keep creating awareness for our demands, and you start gathering your puppet pals for the polls. Okay, I got everybody here. No puppies, 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 no puppies. Come on, everybody, get in here. Yeah, yeah. Hey, power to the puppets. So like I was saying, we really need help with this black agenda thing. My name is Lee Boy. Have a nice day.